Music City Moon Goddess, Nashville, Tennessee. It's me that I'm having an affair with the moon. I love We deal with love. My daddy says I'm the best kisser in three counties. We deal with sorrow. Searching for her answers, that's what people come here for. We deal with happiness, we deal with marriage. Every now and then we deal with crazy. We serve the community of weirdos and oddballs and freaks too. See, and I have to wonder if I can get to the gun before they get to me. So my name is Tanya and I'm a singer-songwriter here in Nashville. Sometimes I even howl at the moon. But you gotta, you gotta like wish and then like, you know, pray and then howl. And then it works. <laughs> When I pray, then I see psychics down on the break. And God love him. He wanted to be a country music star. I said, what do you play? Well, I don't play nothing. And everyone's after his love. Musicians and dreamers, artists come through here too. So weird. Goddess on the Moon, this is Elf. Oh, hi, Elf. <laughs> How are you today? Um, someone just gave me your business card and I was um, wondering if I could come get a reading. It looks like our next appointment's at 6 o'clock. How's that going to work for you? Awesome. My name is Tanya. This is a really important thing to a lot of people. We help people make the right choices. Most people come because they have a problem. They've got some sort of a situation in their life that needs some advice, some guidance. You chip away enough, you get to your essence. And I think that's what we're all here for. We're just looking to find our essence. You know, what feeds our souls. What's your name, honey? Tanya. I'm Tish. Nice to meet you. It's Tish. nice to meet you. So we see all kinds, and we see people who are looking for money, people who just got money, people got divorced, people want to get divorced, people are <clears throat> having affairs and they shouldn't be. They want to sell their house, they want to get a new car, they want to get a new job, they want to move. Huge variety of people. This is the all hell has broken loose card. And then she got mad at me. And then she wanted to fight me, and she was about five foot nothing, and she weighed about 17 pounds, soaking wet with rocks in her pockets. Do was to call 911 and see if we could get the police down. And so the, you know, police came in and they kind of took her away. I mean, you've been kicked in the head more times than you can count. <laughs> but, you, uh, <laughs> but you always get back up. And that's the important thing, okay? I deal with athletes and musicians, people that hurt. And so I'm the pain with a purpose type girl. Um, but the songwriters who are constantly caught up in their own head and they're trying to get the creative juices flowing and it's not working. I see you winning. <laughs> okay, Charlie Sheen has ruined that word for the rest of us. Yes, I did read for Taylor Swift, as a matter of fact. I did Taylor Swift's 18th birthday party, Keith Urban's birthday party, Reba McIntyre. We read in her barn, which is better than most houses that I've ever been in in my life. Anne Rice, their little eyes get real big. I like that part. Um, I've been able to see spirits since I was three. People come to me, clients come to me who have lost family members. Oh, they're wanting to know if the person's okay on the other side. They might be because I can hear the spirits. It's not just uh, the intuition, but I also occasionally can. Thank you so That's much. Great. You're so very welcome. Take care of you. Thank you. Right, God call. bless. Bless you. Thank you. Hey there. Ah, that's better. Kind of relaxed. I'm a licensed massage therapist, and uh, I work here at the shop. Well, the gals around here, they deal with the uh, metaphysical and, and spiritual world, and I basically deal with making everybody relax when they've heard some bad news and stuff like that. That's my job. The, yeah, the guy came in and asked him for kryptonite, and uh, if I can massage you with kryptonite and it makes you feel better, then fine, we'll do it. Whatever you need, sir. <laughs> Within reason. 
a lot had plenty of propositions for sex. I had this one guy come in here. He sat back here and acted like he was looking at books, but he was actually watching me for about two and a half, maybe three hours. And then some days it's weirdo after weirdo after crazy weirdo. Um, the thing that I hear the most is, my, sto my soul has been stolen, you have to help me find it. Yeah, I do astrology and tarot here in the shop, and I do the ghost tours on the side. I had some real interesting experiences with that too. I've had a lot of paranormal experiences. I do ghost investigations too. It's just fun to terrorize the tourists. <laughs> so. I see dead people, and sometimes I see dumb people. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's born intuitive. It gets dumbed out of us the older that we get. You know, thank you, society.